We are at the tail end of student loan week. So we've done Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, uh, VA, FHA, how they all look at loans. And now it's time to talk about Jumbo. One very important note, this video does not apply to VA Jumbo loans. If you're a veteran or active duty member and you're like, I need to know about how VA looks at loans and my loan's a million and a half dollars, which you can do now with 0% down, um, please look at yesterday's video. That is how VA treats it regardless of the loan amount. So that's my important note. Now for everybody else, let's talk about Jumbo. Okay. So here's the thing about jumbo loans and student loans. Actually, first I have to tell you, cause someone asked me this, what is a jumbo loan? So a jumbo loan is whenever your loan amount is above the conforming loan limit for your county. Yes, so in many parts of the country, the loan limit is 510, 400. This is filmed as of October, 2020. And anything above that is jumbo, okay? But it is based on your state and county. So what you guys are gonna wanna do is Google Fannie Mae Loan Limits 2020. Now, if you're watching this in 2021, Fannie Mae Loan Limits 2021. It will show you, it will bring you up to a spreadsheet where you can click on your state and your county and that will tell you the loan limit for conforming loans. Anything above that is jumbo. This sheet also has like, you know, the, the limits can be different based on if it's a one unit, two unit, three unit, four unit. But that's how you know if you are looking at a jumbo loan, okay? Had to cover that. Now, so you know you're in a jumbo loan and you're like, gosh, how are they gonna treat my student loans? Totally depends. Yes, yes, totally depends. Whereas FHA, VA, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae have really set requirements. With Jumbo, what we see is different lenders have different requirements. Some follow Fannie, some follow Freddie, some make up their own rules. Now you're like, oh, that's this is such a useless video then, Jennifer. Not really. So the point of this is that when you're getting qualified for a Jumbo mortgage, if you have student loans, the question you want to ask your lender is, hey, how are you gonna be calculating my student loan payments? You need to know that information because if you end up in a position where they're like, oh, your debt to income's too high, or I'm really sorry you can't qualify, or you can only qualify for X, Y, Z, you may find that they're qualifying you at a 1%, whereas there could be another jumbo investor that would do it at half a percent, and then you would qualify for what you want. So it's super important that you guys know every investor makes their own rules in jumbo land. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. So there's not even like most do this and most do that. Every single one is different. So the key thing is, is if you're talking to a bank and they say, oh, we're really sorry because of your student loans, we can't. Doesn't mean another bank won't do it. Ask them how they're calculating your student loans. Are they using the payment? Are they using a percentage? Are they using the higher than? I would suggest you watch Tuesday and Wednesday's video so you can see how student loans are being calculated in other parts of the industry because generally, what I see with jumbo investors is they're taking from that and adding to it, or they're taking from that and subtracting from it. So you kind of want to know the base of what's happening in the industry, but you're going to ask your lender how they're calculating your student loans. Okay. And then if you get denied from that lender, you want to ask the next lender, Hey, look, you know, how do you calculate student loans? You don't have to fill out an app to answer, to have them answer that question. You don't have to, you know, have your credit pulled to have them answer that question. You could say like, if someone called me and said, Hey Jen, you know, how are you going to calculate student loans? This is what happened with the other lender. To me, that's a trigger to go, okay, let me see what other investors I have that are going to look at this more favorably to the borrower. Okay, that's what we do as lenders. It's our job to look at the information you're telling us and try to find a home for your situation. Now, you could be in a position where you're just can't do anything. And unfortunately, sometimes we see that. I mean, if I see $500,000 in student loans on a credit report, I don't even blink anymore. I'm just like, oh, you went to four years of college. I mean, it's crazy. It's just crazy right now. So important part of this video is that each investor is different. So you could walk into Bank of America and it could be different than Wells or JP Morgan or you know TD Ameritrade. Any of these institutions can be different. So it's important to make sure you don't give up after talking to one. 
Don't have 90 people run your credit. Talk to a lender that works with multiple of these investors so they can go through the guidelines. Like I have a spreadsheet for all these different jumbo investors that says this one does this, this one does this, this one does this, this one does this. Crack through it. Okay. So I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.